What's up guys, Jimo here again with Refinish Network and today I'm going to be painting this Nissan, I believe it's a Sentra. I'll be painting the door and quarter, well blending actually the, the color within the door and the quarter. And right now I'm just washing it down with a tack rag. It's already been washed down with a degreaser and a water-based cleaner before this. Now I'm going to be blending slightly different today. You'll see that I'm going to be using what they call an orientation coat or a wet bed. And it's this clear product right here that I'm going to spray before each coat. And it's going to allow my metallic paint to land, um, to land wet rather than having a dry edge as it fades out. What can tend to happen, it's more noticeable on lighter metallic colors, is uh, you'll get what they call a halo. And that is where you're blending your paint out. The metallics, they land dry where the rest of the product lands wet and the metallics that have landed dry will reflect differently and you'll have kind of a light looking edge and that's what I'm trying to avoid by using the wet bed. So my color going on here is just going to cover the primer and I'm going to try and taper it off a little bit as I go. So I use these air blowers to dry my paint in between coats. Uh, if you don't have them, it's not a big deal with the waterborne paint. It just takes a little bit longer, but uh, it dries faster with air movement, so that's the idea of having these little guns pointed at it. So I have to wait about five to 10 minutes for it to dry, and it'll go like an even matte look, and that indicates it's ready for some more paint. You can see that the primer is still visible, if you look carefully. So again, I used the orientation coat at the beginning and I'm going to just kind of taper the paint out a little bit further and try and angle my gun in sort of random ways as long as it's covering the primer and not going all the way to the edge of the front of this door. So I'm using my Iwata LPH400 with the LVX base coat tip. For applying the clear product, um, I could I sometimes use that for base as well, but uh, today I'm going to be using the Develbis CVI to apply my base, and it has, they both have a 1.4 on it, I believe. On a job like this, I would probably want a little bit more blending space, ideally. And say I was to be blending into that front door, I would probably just apply the orientation coat at the beginning, which would fill in any minor scratches. And then when you blend it out, it wouldn't be such an issue. Um, it's more when you try and keep a blend very small is when you start running into problems and have a visible blend. Now after the second coat, it was pretty well covered. Now I'm just going to throw on a third light one just to kind of blend it out a little bit further. And then we should be good to go. So here it is after the paint's been applied and we are ready for clear. So it's actually sat about 15-20 minutes since I applied that last coat of base and I had the blowers on it during that time. So I'm applying my clear here with my Devel or my Devel my SATA RP. And it's running around 27 PSI. My digital gauge is broken, so I don't really know. I just kind of go by sound right now. And I try to maintain about a 50% overlap. And this clear coat was Glazerit 923922. And the base coat was RM Onyx Waterborne. I wish I could show you guys the second coat of clear going on, but I somehow lost that clip. So if you really need to see that, you'll have to rewind the clip about 30 seconds and just watch this again. 
sorry I don't have the best footage to show you the final result, but it came out pretty good. And uh, it's parked kind of in, in the shade in the quarter, so you can't really see that there. But um, I did have to polish out a few specs that landed right kind of as the sail starts to go up. And then she was, uh, she was golden. So that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to leave me a comment and rate this video.